Hello, Spanky. For real. Hey, hey, Cardi. What's up? What's up? What's up? Who doesn't love Spanky? For real. And what he did on this, um, <laughs> on that show with uh, um, Questlove and D'Angelo and Raphael, that intro was, <laughs> was sick. For real. <laughs> stuff like that. What's up, Mike? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. One of my mentors, absolute mentor, was Spanky Alfred. Ah, oh my goodness. The stuff that he would play, his chord voicings, his just his movement. Ah. <laughs> Since it's the runs and shop, I need some lessons and get lessons. I can't get make the boot camp since it's during the runs during the sap. All right. Um <laughs> we got some great stuff coming up. 
even if um, you can't do it on Saturdays, you know we record the boot camps, so everything is recorded. Um, you still can get the material, you can get the videos, you can still go through the course without actually being there. If I had some students to do that, um, they actually went through the boot camp, um, but couldn't make it because of one thing or the other. So they would, you know, they just joined the boot camp and would go in and, um, and, and just learn the stuff that I was teaching during the boot camp. But yeah. Hey, Douglas, what's happening? Yeah, he did a lot of crazy stuff. Um, what was he, what is it? Um, Monster stuff, <laughs> and I'll spend a lifetime trying to capture just a fraction of what he did. But he was a I would play that, learn that stuff from him, playing that. something I had the opportunity to sit down and play with him play with him a few times with the clouds and stuff and actually my mentor um, met him when I was in New York and the things that he taught me and his playing have influenced everything that I've done all right Alabama and D house what's up Austin what's happening yeah man this is this is a spanky kind of day. Some of the things he would, the movements. He did, he, he liked to play. some thirteens. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, let me tell you something. Spanky was a, um, he was a student of guitar. So Joe Paz, Wes Montgomery, um, uh, Django Reinhardt, um, Howard Carroll, the Dixie Hummingbirds, all of those guys. Yes. <laughs> I just named him. Um, hey, what's up, Mr. Red? What's happening? <laughs> what's happening? Yeah, so some of his favorite players was the guys I just mentioned. Came out of quartet. A lot of people don't know Spanky was a quartet fanatic. so important getting that boot camp Austin I don't know if you joined or if you signed up I think you went, are going through excuse me the mini course but the boot camp is where it's at let me tell you something because I get a chance to really sit down with you guys for eight weeks two hours every week every single every single week I am going to be with you guys and we're going to go over all of that stuff man and, and so much more <laughs> Hey, Mike, what's happening? Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes, you can. You can sign up, um, Jack. You can sign up for the boot camp. Promise you, you can, and you won't miss nothing. Every week is recorded, so you can go in all week long and go over the material. And then when you're able to come in on on Saturday, come on in. If you're not, you still get eight weeks of the course. You still get eight weeks of the course. So, man, if you can't make the boot camp, you still can be in the boot camp without actually being there. And I'm going to be teaching that stuff. <laughs> stuff I got from Spanky. I'm telling you. My chords, how, why, why does my chords sound so big? Why do my chords sound so big compared to other people playing chords? It's because there's a technique. <laughs> there's a technique I'm going to share as well. It's like chords, like we would play stuff like this in church. We'll play. We'll play that in church all day. Now, I'm going to teach you how to go. I'm going to teach you that so the keyboard player can walk away and you still can cover. <laughs> It's 
nuts, isn't it? It is so crazy um, how we can take Romagus. We can take these six strings and open up so much. And I'm telling you, studying with Spanky and and being under his, his teaching and learning what I could when I had chance to spend time with him has been so valuable. It taught me how to do certain things and how to play certain things and open up um, this instrument so much more than playing just, uh, you know, little smaller chords. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? But if you're able to go, I'm telling you, that's the all, all the difference in the world. Yeah, sometimes when you make your bass, bass play upset, absolutely. Um, you gotta, you gotta rewind it, Romarcus. You gotta re what you missed. You should have came on here when the bell rang. Um, you sign up, Mike. Sign up at KevinWilsonGuitar.com. Go to KevinWilsonGuitar.com and sign up. I'm telling you. Um, I'm only taking 25 people, though. I'm only taking 25 people because I need to be able to spend the time to show y'all. <laughs> And I, I guarantee you this, when you go through that boot camp, there won't be a quartet or a genre you won't be able to touch on. You know, just like Spanky was a quartet, a quartet guitar player, playing with D'Angelo, John Mayer, I mean, Questlove, he played, played for some of everybody uh, with a quartet foundation. Once you go through the boot camp, you're going to be able to play all with all those cats. All of them. Tell them. Every one of them. Because they're looking for that sound. They're looking for that presence. That... <laughs> Let me tell you some Austin, you have reason to be excited because when you come out out of the boot camp, folks going to be looking at you so Ro Romarcus, will you tell him Romarcus? Romarcus, will you tell him folks are looking at Romarcus side up? This is will be Romarcus's third boot camp. But this boot camp gonna be so different from the one he previous was in. Not that wasn't good. They were great. But we have a structure. Nuts. Yep. <laughs> I hear you. It's actually less than that. It's less than half. I promise you it's less than half. <laughs> with the bass players, keyboard players, strings, some players get, ah, they get a little upset. They'll be all right. But you know what? Let me tell you something, Travis. What I love now, when I play at church and I play in different situations, keyboard players be like, what did you do? How did you do that? Now, when keyboard players start asking you, what chords or how'd you, how did, how did you, how did you do? How did you do that? How did 
you come up with that? Because. How is that possible? Because I went through the boot camp. I was playing some spanky, perfect time. Hey, you were you? What's that? Look, look, boy, I got some great friends coming on here. I got some great friends coming on here. Look at Lamont. What's up, Mont? Another friend of mine. But yeah, Spanky, if you were playing Spanky, if if you were playing Spanky, you had to do something like that. Right? You had to do that. had to be playing that stuff. And hey, what's up, Dre? So you had to be playing some of that stuff. If you playing Spanky, some of that stuff have to come out. Mr. Pedophot, what's happening, sir? Yep. Minus seven flat five, that's right. <laughs> Gotta play that minus seven flat five. But then that riff. Yeah, the riff. The riff. Yes, sir. Gotta play it. Ah. Hey, what's going on? Good to see. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All of that stuff, I'm telling you, he was... And all of 
other stuff <clears throat> that I was able to pick up from him, I'll be sharing in my um, boot camp. For those who's interested in the boot camp, you got to go to KevinWilsonGuitar.com. Kevin, K-E-V-I-N-W-I-L-S-O-N. Guitar, G-U-I-T-A-R, G-U-I-T-A-R dot C-O-M. And join up. And let's have some fun, for real. Um, one of my favorite licks that Spanky did was, um, I learned from him, was a lick that he played over some. Something like that. That was crazy. That was nuts. I was like, I gotta have that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man. So, oh, what, oh, what did you say? What did you say? What what did you just pop? Uh oh, did he just say? Let's see. Chris Rock show is that what you're talking about something like that something like that <laughs> all of that stuff crazy right ways to play it so instead of just playing it one way you can just twist and turn and twist and turn you can, you can play that right or or the uh, uh right so it's like there's so many ways you can play these things if you know the formulas if you know the foundation where's it going Thank mm -hmm. you. 
taking no request from Marcus. I'll play ch chicken grease in boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> All of that stuff, y'all, for real. All of that stuff, you can learn it, you can get it, you and it's, you know, as complicated as it sounds, it's a lot of the stuff is just triad bar chords and chord melody stuff, stuff that I'm teaching. All of that stuff. teaching numerical placement of course of course absolutely positively is a part of the curriculum and I'm teaching where you'll be able to hear and actually visualize the number system without your guitar being in your hand you're going to be able to listen to music and and know what the numbers are and the chords are the placement all of this stuff just by listening without having this in your hand and that's the beauty of people say ear training ear training yes that's part of ear training but knowing how things are built how chords are built the foundation of the chords and how they move and stuff you be able to hear certain things and know oh that's what they're doing oh that's the chord oh that's augmented oh he's playing whole tones over over this augmented he's playing he's playing augmented stuff so I can play whole tones, or I can move. I can move and I can play certain things. <laughs> All this stuff that I've learned over for playing for over 40, almost 50 years, I, I should say, I'm gonna be able to share and, and studying with people like Spanky and, and being able to be in contact with Mr. Howard Carroll and Sugar High Cow, Al Dent, and so many great Chris Johnson, all these amazing um, musicians, quartet musicians, and. Um, musicians otherwise, I'll be able to share this stuff with you and I'm going to spend eight whole weeks with you guys in boot camp. I'm talking about whole two hours every, my private sessions, my private lessons is one hour and that's once a week. I'm going to spend two hours every week for the next eight weeks from uh, April 2nd all the way straight through with you guys teaching you these techniques and stuff I learned by being around instead of playing you're gonna come out of boot camp playing you're gonna play that instead of playing the That's okay, but why play that when you can play? That's what I'm saying. So, why play that other stuff when you can play that? <laughs> substitutions, um, different variations, um, you name it, we're going to touch on it. And then I got some friends that's coming on, coming in and teaching. So, hey guys, listen, 
You don't want to miss this boot camp, for real. Do you have to be uh, a whiz when you come in? Nope. Absolutely not. Um, some uh, information you should know, absolutely. But, man, I'm going to be able to teach you the stuff so you'll be able to knock out, I mean, really knock out some stuff when you pick this guitar up. Yeah. Man, Mike, are you in? Are you in the camp? Let me see if you in the camp. Are you in the camp, Mike? Stop playing. Woo! Go to that four. up the mini course cool cool so you're ready you ready so go back in there hit that button and roll in that boot camp because you ready if you went through the mini course you ready you ready because you have the foundation you have the basics down i'm already knew that i wasn't even worried about you having that but um yeah you ready <laughs> stuff man yeah all of that stuff man for real so I'm looking to see each and every one of you guys in boot camp signed up some some weeks maybe conflict with others scared to that's okay you know it's okay but you won't miss because it's uh the recordings are there so make sure you study because you still will be held accountable for the assignment yeah you may have some little conflicts that some of the weeks yeah get it but uh you'll have all that information jay what's up jj What's going on with you? Yes, sir. Oh, your man is Howard Carroll. I learned from him I will take and play the rest of my life oh man I'm just so much it's just so much ah uh, you're doing a mini course good go through that mini course and come on the boot camp come on the boot camp Terry, what's up, Terry from Carolina? What part of North Carolina are you from? What is it? What part? I'm 
I'm going to show you guys in boot camp. I'm going to show you so many ways to get around to playing different things. Um, when people think you're going left, you're going to go right, but it's still going to be right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when you when people think you're going right, you're going to go left, but you're still going to be right. Oh, that makes sense. That's kind of deep. <laughs> so when you people think you're going right, you're going to go left and still be right. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm, you know what? I need to, to trademark that. That's another move that Spanky taught me that I use all the time. Yes. telling you it's killer Not even getting ready to try to say your name. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna try to say your name <laughs> or your title up there. one what guitar did you get I'm sure whatever it is they're gonna make make it right their customer service is amazing See, okay, okay. Oh man, I hate to hear that. I hate to hear that. Um, but I'm sure that they'll get it right. Yes, sir. Let me see. Somebody just signed up. Who signed up for the boot camp? Somebody, Robbins. Somebody just signed up for the boot camp. That's cool. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's good to see. Um, which one of the pickups you use in the parties? Who did Spanky study? Uh, Ramarcus, guess what? When you come to boot camp, you're going to find out. But I said it earlier, so you just have to rewind it. <laughs> you know the guitar player for Doc McKenzie? I do. I know Daryl very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they are they're good like that. The company is amazing.
what t- let me tell you. I tell you what to do, Jay. JJ. Go ask Tyrone. Go DM him or anything you want to do. But uh, Tyrone studied under me when he was a youngster. Tyrone Jackson is a straight out monster beast, 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 beast. But yeah, that's another one. There are so many of these young musicians. I call them young because I'm a little older. That have studied under me. And I'm telling you, they are doing some great, great, great things. So yes, absolutely. Straight out of quartet, Tyrone Jackson. Keith Wonderboy. Have, uh, actually, his family is the Jackson Singers. Yeah. Someone know, someone I know and request. Someone I know put in a request for Kevin Wilson's signature guitars. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> to me thank you um if any whoever it was that put in that paul reed smith make a signature guitar some other folks have mentioned it to me too um i'm honored to be a part of the company if they decide to do something like that that would be even more of a blessing even more of a blessing hashtag prs kevin wilson signature series guitar (laughs) wow that's crazy um thank you uh, yeah, that. Uh, uh. Yes, they did. And PRS said that they're looking into it. Did they really? Oh, my goodness. Did they really? <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. You are amazing. Or whoever said it, <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> Yeah, that was just some some moves I was playing. Well, thank you. Thank you for real. I appreciate it, honestly. I honestly do. And I guess if enough people request it, they may consider doing it. I had a friend said um, just this week, he said, he told me, he said, if Paul Reed Smith did a Kevin Wilson signature series guitar, he would purchase 10 of them. Oh, I was like, wow. <laughs> You know what's more important to me and that is important i promise you that means a lot and I, that's very important to me but <clears throat> what what's more important to me is your education your guitar education um your guitar theory your quartet guitar theory and that's another something that's coming man let me tell you something you knowing how to maneuver on your guitar, how to play. To me, is more important than having that signature guitar. I mean that. Yeah. Oh, it would be, it would be specked out. It would be specked out where um, uh, it would be conducive to the stuff that we love to play and what we love to hear. It would have enough um, kick to it where we wanted to go into an overdrive but then also, if we want to mellow out and play some other stuff, it, it will fit. The neck would have to have, to have that great feel. Um, the body would be contoured to your body. Um, locking tuners and all of that good stuff. So tuning is important. A good tremolo system. Um, I love the Duesenberg tremolo system. I think that's one of the best tremolo systems I've ever played. Um, 
Yeah. Um, push pull so you can have the neck and bridge. Um, have um, the neck and bridge play at the same time so you can get tele type tones. So it would be spec'd out. I promise it would be spec'd out if it's something that I endorse. It. Because one thing I want you guys to know <laughs> is that I don't play. Hey Tony, what's up? I don't pl I don't endorse anything that I don't lo I lo I don't love. If you see me playing it, if you see me using it. It's because I really, really like it. I don't do it because um, they're going to send me some gear. Mm -mm, I got enough that I got to move some of the stuff out of the house because it's just too much. <laughs> so it's something that I have to have. Um, I have to ha really like and I really love to use. So the things that you guys see me using, and that's why I'm about to really dig into this Axe Effects. Um, you know, because I don't want you guys to jump on the stuff thinking, okay, well, Kevin's playing it, so it must be, but then you get it and you're not able to get the sounds or the tones or the, be able to, the playability out of the instrument like you would like. So if I endorse it, you can believe it for real. showed us Sunday that was wow yes yes that is a great guitar I'm a phew, I love the DGT oh uh, yeah 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 great guitar man I'm telling you Gotta go, wanna come come on here and just say hey, hey, hey. Um and just remind folks, Pope most people hear me play. I didn't come up with this. Spanky was my mentor. I spent time with him. <laughs> Stuff like that I learned from him. Um and I wanted to pay respects to him. Also wanted to let you guys know that I still have a few spaces available um, for the boot camp. Um, if you're interested, uh, go to KevinWilsonGuitar.com. KevinWilsonGuitar.com. Sign up and let's learn. Let's learn that stuff. And I'm going to share this stuff with you in my boot camp. So get ready. Every Saturday from April 2nd throughout. Two hours starting at 1130 Eastern Standard Time. So to give you time, we're on from 1130 to 130. Two hours. That's enough time for you to get out and spend time with your family. Um, do you ever go back and listen to any of the albums you played on? I have recently, JJ. JJ, I have. I have. I have. I went back and listened to um, one I did with, 
shoot, 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 Supreme Angels back in 1982. I went back and listened to that, and um, I listened to, it's funny, because we did a song Sunday at church that uh, I played with the keynotes on Country, Go Country Boy Goes Home 2, and we did that song, Father Alone. And I, uh, <laughs> it was hilarious because my pastor sent a message. He said, Kevin, I guess he didn't know I played on the song. He said, Kevin, um, the guitar part on Father Alone, I want you to play it just like the guy played it on, on the record. And I just started laughing um, when I got uh, word that he wanted me to play um, the guitar part just like I played the guitar part because <laughs> he didn't know. I, so I sent word back. I said, yeah, I think I, I can do that. I know the guy who actually played it and just started laughing. So that was funny. So I do, every now and then, I go back and I actually people play, um, uh, do music that I've worked on and they, they want, hey, can you can you emulate that guitar part? Yeah, maybe, I think I may be able to do that. But yeah, I do go back and, and do that. But anyway, it's time for me to get off of here. Thank you for hanging out again for those who are interested in um, doing the quartet boot camp. Uh, I encourage you to go to KevinWilsonGuitar.com. Um, several people have actually signed up for it since we've been on here. I'm seeing some notifications. Um, so we still have a few spots left, but don't hesitate. Get out there and let's do this, man. Let's, let's make this happen, okay? All right. I'm going to go have a great week, great the rest of the week, the weekend. 